Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery, and today I've got the lovely honor of presenting to you a 2018 FS model. Now this one is quite special. Um, it's got a master grade Engelman top on it. It's just so <laughs> sensitive. But as soon as you turn it over, look at this absolutely gorgeous Macassar Ebony. Macassar's always been one of my favorite, just the amount of color change throughout it. And also the tone is just so deep and dark. Now he decided to pair it with this curly koa all the way around, which I think is brilliant because it, it just together wraps it like a warm cake. <laughs> now, um, it does have an arm bevel here, so it's quite comfortable underneath the, the arm. And it does have a sound port that's been bound with that curly koa as well. Now it's got a two-piece mahogany neck um, that's bound with your curly koa with what looks like some mother of pearl dots in here rather than his silver pipe inlays. Now it does have a Macassar back head cap with gold gotos um, and Macassar buttons. And you get into the, the head cap there with the Macassar and the Petros and it's got a really, really, really figured koa up there. Just almost makes it look like inlay, but doesn't need to. Speaking of inlay, this one doesn't have a whole lot of elaborate inlays, but he did do his hand carved boxwood pins here uh, in that signature carved bridge. Um, now, what I'd like to mention about the tonality of this guitar is it's quite different to the other ones that I've picked up this trip. It is a little brighter. It's Engelman. Most of the other ones that we're going to hear this trip are redwood. So there's a lot of darkness, but this, this guitar records unbelievably well. Um, it is so balanced. And it, it sounds all the way great, all the way up and down the neck. Good and full. But I think that the harmonics on it are extra lively with that Engelman. Now, another thing that I wanted to mention is this radial cut um, rosette here with the Macassar. It just looks so unique. Um, I, I really love the way this guitar looks. Now, um, did want to mention that, like with other all of Bruce's guitars, he does have a 1 and 13 16 nut width, but he carves the cheeks in real hard so that it doesn't feel cumbersome, but it gives you just enough width for any um, complex finger style or flat picking down here. But it's two and a quarter at the saddle, so it's not too wide for doing good flat picking runs. If you have any further questions about this lovely Bruce Petros guitar, message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com, and thanks for listening.